Sora, do you want to join and learn some different skills and essential informations in playing chess? Then, make yourself comfortable and listen up as we are about to spill all the secrets. Okay, let's start with the basic introduction to chess. So a chess board consists of 64 square spaces. The player with white pieces always goes first. Each chess piece has a name and specific move capabilities. Do not forget the right position of the board. Each player should have a dark square in their lower left corner and a light square on their lower right corner. The rook. So the rook is placed at the corner of the board. The best thing about rooks is that it can move any number of vacant squares, both vertically and horizontally. But remember, one thing about rooks is that it cannot jump over your own pieces. Next up is the knights. The knights are placed next to the rook. Unlike the rooks, the knight can jump over your pieces and they're actually the only piece that can do that. They move in an L-shaped pattern. Take note that a knight can only capture a piece when it lands on that piece's square. The bishops. So the bishops are placed next to the knights. Bishops can move any number of three squares in a diagonal direction. The queen. Remember that you only got one queen in the game and she is the most powerful piece on the board because she can move any number of vacant squares horizontally, vertically, or even diagonally. The king. The king is not as powerful as the queen because the king can only move one square at a time horizontally, vertically, and even diagonally. He can attack any piece except for the opponent's king and queen. But keep in mind, if you lose your king, then you will lose also the game. So protect it as much as you can. The last but not the least piece is the pawn. So we have eight of pawns in the board. The pawns can only move one square forward with one exception. The first time you move your pawn is that you can forward it either one or two squares forward, but no more of that after the first move. So the task you have in this game is to checkmate your opponent's king. When a king is attacked, it is called check. A checkmate, also known as mate, occurs when a king is placed in check and has no legal moves to escape from it. Now, let's talk about the special moves in checks. So there is what we call en passant. En passant is a French word that means in passing. En passant is a move in chess. It consists of a pawn capturing a horizontally adjacent enemy pawn that has just advanced two squares. When capturing en passant, the pawn moves the square that the enemy pawn passed. The enemy pawn is captured as if it only had adjust one square. So the enemy would jump to two squares so that this would be your chance to capture it using the en passant move. Next special move in chess is called castling. So castling is a move in the game of chess in which the player moves the king two squares towards one of the rooks on the same rank and moves the rook to the square that the king crossed. It is only move in chess in which a player moves two pieces in the same move. But remember, there are rules you need to follow in order for you to qualify 
in doing the special move called castling. So the important rules of castling is that the king and rook may not have moved from their starting squares. Second, all spaces between the king and the rook must be empty. The third, the king cannot move castling when it is on check. The fourth, the squares the king will pass over may not be under attack nor can the square on which the king will land. Next up is about promotion. So in chess, promotion is the replacement of a pawn with a new queen, rook, bishop or a knight of the same color it occurs when a pawn reaches the rank farthest from its starting position the new piece replaces the pawn on the promotion square on the same move the last special move in chess that i am going to tackle is the queening so queening happens when a white or black pawn reaches its promotion square. The players can exchange it for a queen, the most powerful piece in a chess game of their respective color. This type of promotion is known as queening the pawn or queening. And we're finally done discussing about the different skills and essential informations in playing chess. Thank you for watching and do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button.